Digital media kits. Have you ever wondered if it's necessary? Why can't you use something like Linktree or your website or any of these other platforms that you are currently using? Why would a digital media kit benefit you better than using one of these other sources? I'm Melissa with Savvy Media Group. We're going to go over some important things about having a digital media kit. It's going to be a lot, but it's going to be well worth it. So make sure that you stay tuned. You don't go anywhere because you're going to miss some valuable tips. And at the end of this video, we're going to have a bonus for you that you are not going to expect. And here we are. I'm showing you my digital media kit. Now, as we scroll, this is like a brief summary of what you're going to see uh, when you're scrolling through a media kit. Now, as we keep going through this, you're going to see uh, the button. If someone wants to really look and see the individual, that button right there, you can press that button. And that's the button will give you a PDF download. Now, here is showing all of the assessments and everything that I've taken for your review if needed. Now, I know we're going to go through this kind of quickly, but I want to just quickly show you some of the things that we are doing. All of my volunteer events that we've done, certificates. Uh, again, we are naturally nosy and we want to see the proof in the pudding, right? So for any certificates, acknowledgements, anything that you have, make sure that you're adding that in that as well. So you're not only just writing out what you have, but they can actually see some of these certificates. You can add a little flair, you know, what you want with quotes. Now I'm introducing uh, the brands. So this is letting you know, these are some of my brands and then the two awards that you see here from BBB Better Business Bureau that I've received also along with some uh, gold star certificates that I received for uh, maintaining the A rating. So these are some of the things you want to share to show you are a, a legitimate business and that you are doing business in your area or national, international, whatever it may be. Um, as we're scrolling through, I'm showing more of the acknowledgments that, you know, being recognized by two organizations, um, certified signing agent. So just constantly showing some of the things that I say I have under my belt, right? How can I really help you? You want to make sure that you're working with somebody that is legitimate. Here, I'm showing my, I'm on the board of directors of the BBB as well. So I know it's small, you really can't see it, but it's showing you those things. Um, speaking opportunities, you always have flyers that showing that you are a speaker on a particular platform or with some others. So hold on to all of those and put them here in your media kit. Because as people scroll through, they can see where you've been speaking. Um, you see some videos earlier where you can share those videos and they can actually watch the presentation if they want. And that'll give them an idea of what type of presenter are you? Do I, you know, really want you on my platform or you know, simply do I just like you? I might not like the way you talk. So these are one of the things that you want to share. Um, and as we're going through here, you're going to see all of these different flyers. Um, an opportunity with Lee College where I uh, spoke to the orientation class. So there are so many different things on here that you will see. I'm just going to over this way a little bit. But you can see some of these opportunities where you can see all these flyers. And as you can see, I've, you know, been invited to various um, events to be a speaker. So, you know, that's showing, okay, you're being called in, people are calling you back. And then a couple of them, you can see is repeat where I've been invited back, you know, back to back uh, for their annual conferences. Um, acknowledgements. Uh, proclamations, you know, having these on here, I have two of them. So as we scroll through, 
you'll see the two proclamations that I have. And um, again, proof is in the pudding. Um, some more events. This is some of the events that I um, actually either put on myself or I was a project management. Season of Empowerment, this is my baby. And uh, the first year I did this was in 2023. Um, and this is going to, you know, hopefully be an annual event that we've had. Um, these are some events where I was project manager of some of these events. Um, and you can see, you know, the background of those events. Um, media opportunities. I was a co-host on Sirius XM Radio, uh, being interviewed by some, you know, other podcasters. Uh, being on their show, being in magazines, the articles, the buttons are there. So if you want to go read the article, you can actually read the actual article instead of going to Google to search and look for those articles. You can see everything here. This is my very first book that I put out um, showing all of the uh, reviews and everything, you know, number one, number two on Amazon, bestseller. Um, so showing all of those stats to let people know about you, what you do, and the things that um, you have to offer. So this is, you know, a digital media kit. Yes, it is a website. Um, you can, you know, just see all the different things. So this is just something that you really should take advantage of as you are um, growing your business. So as we went through that digital media kit, we were scrolling through. And again, I know it went kind of fast. You know, we didn't want this to turn into a very long video. So we just kind of want to scroll through and show you some things that we had in there. Now, there are multiple types of media kits, profile kits, EPKs. It's pretty much an in industry lingo. And some people specific in that, that industry may not agree, but that's simply what it is, it's industry lingo. Um, so if you are in sales, if you're just a career, you know, professional, a uh, business owner, um, you have multiple brands, you should have one of these readily available to go out to anybody that wants to know about you. Okay, here's the question. I have a website. When I just put out my website, and all of my information is there. If you notice how we went through this and we constantly scroll and everything was like in your face, here it is. You didn't have to navigate and look for anything. What page should I go on? Where is this on this page? Or how should I, you know, go to, you know, look for certain information? On the digital media kit, it's just a one pager. It's like a website, but it's a one pager where you're constantly just scrolling. There's buttons, there's video, there's different things that you can look at on there. Now, if you decide, well, I just put it on my website, that's great. Not a problem. You could definitely put it on your website, but you don't want people to navigate to too many different things because we are in a I want it now mentality uh, world. So I want it now. Just give it to me now. I don't want to have to do all of this click, 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 click to look for things. And this is what I say about Linktree is that on Linktree, it's exactly that. It is a tree. It's links, Linktree. And you have to click to see where I need to go. What's in this button? What's in that button? What's in this button? On this digital media kit, you don't have to do that. All you're doing is scrolling. Everything is in category. So as you're scrolling, if you notice, I had like events. I had um, the brands. I had acknowledgments. So once you got to that section, you saw what you wanted to see, right? Um, and for like the bio, if you want that, there's a, a button for you to click and it takes you to a PDF and you can print that. I did not, you don't want to put the entire bio in uh, your digital media kit because, you know, that's what it is. You want to give them those quick things that they can look for. So. I just put like two paragraphs in mine. If they want more, they can click that button and print that off. Speakers, 
This is really, really good for you because you could have video snippets, create your reel. There's different things that you can do where people can actually see what you are doing. Again, if you choose to put it on your website, great. But having it, I want it now mentality, that's exactly what it is. So uh, you have to remember, this is just the day and age. This is the reality of where we are in the world right now. And if you don't adjust to it, somebody else is, and this is what's going to cause you to miss out on various opportunities. So with the bonus, I want to tell you, when you are doing your digital media kit, the first thing you want to do is really sit down and create a map of the things that you have done. Because once you create that map, it's going to make it super easy to start building, whether you're using a website or you're using a platform like what I use, which is Adobe Spark. Um, so whatever you decide to do, create you a map. Once that map is created, how are you going to tie that map together, right? Um, it sounds like a lot of work. It sounds like it's going to take you a lot of time. And the answer to that is yes. In the beginning, it does take you quite a bit, especially if you don't have a system and you haven't done it maybe as frequently as I have. But if you don't map that out, it's going to make it super difficult when you start laying these things out and then things are going to be out of order. And now you got to go move, shuffle and do all these different things. I promise you, you need to create a map before you get started with this process. Once you do that, now you're able to go in your uh, files, your hard drive, whatever it is that you have to go pull these items. So like, for instance, my speaker, uh, speaker flyers. I was able to go into my speaker folder and grab all of these different flyers. And now that I have the flyers, I want to put them in some type of water, right? So that's what I did. Same thing with my um, assessment. I was able to quickly go and find those and do the things that I need to do with those assessments. So depending on who you are, you're going to have a lot more than others. Um, if you have a, um, a YouTube channel or um, podcasting, whatever it is that you're doing, you want to be able to grab those things to where you can put it in your digital media kit. Now, if you have more questions on how to do your media kit, how can it be beneficial for you, your business, your career, or anything that you're thinking of? Let us know because uh, we can come, we can help you. We can help you figure those things out and get you started. We want you to get on the right road to producing your digital media kit. Thank you.